Is it storytelling gold or garbage? I'm excited to share with you one of the new segments on my show where we talk about storytelling, how stories work, and if they're told well. Also, we're going to spin that wheel for that one-year YouTube anniversary giveaway, so hurry back. Just an 80s boy and a 90s teen, going on all things Disney, from house to parks and in between, come share the magic with me. La, 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 la. Live your life to a Disney tune. Come and share Jake's Disney Afternoon. Hey Disney Afternoon gang, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jake. If you're returning here, thanks for coming back. And if you're new, I do all kinds of Disney content, including subscription boxes, hauls, trips, trivia, story reviews. If it's Disney, we're doing it. So you're going to want to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on the next Disney adventure. All right, before we spin that big old wheel and see who wins the giveaway, let's talk about my new segment on the show once a week called, Is It Storytelling Gold or Garbage? I love telling stories. Um, it's part of what I do professionally. And um, I love dissecting stories and figuring out how and why stories work. Because while there's so much artistic interpretation, storytelling is like building a house. The fundamentals of building a house are the same. Foundation, support beams, uh, load-bearing walls, roof structures, plumbing, piping, electrical, all of the things. Th there aren't a lot of ways to do it, and yet all of these houses look so wildly different from each other. We have buildings, complexes, malls, big houses, crazy houses, tall houses, wide houses, right? So the artistic expression is still there, but like building a house, the fundamentals are really still the same. So there are five categories we're going to talk about when we're kind of evaluating whether a story is told well or not. And just for the record, just because it isn't told well doesn't mean you can't like it. And just because it is told well doesn't mean you have to like it. There are a lot of movies that I love that maybe have some flaws. There's also a lot of movies that I really don't like, but I think that they're excellently told stories. So I want to sort of separate us from like the emotional and personal response, although that's a little bit um, part of this whole thing too, because obviously stories are meant to invoke something and it's meant to make us feel something. But I want to look at it a little bit more academically, a little bit more with evidence and just see how these stories are being told. So five categories, quickly, I want to just kind of prep you for, for my first lecture tomorrow. The first one is structure. Structure is the most, I've got my little notes here. Structure is the most important thing in a story. It is the balance of elements that add up to the whole so that you guide us through this journey. That's highs and lows, peaks and valleys. We've got, um, angry moments and happy moments, moments juxtaposed against each other, um, and the framework that kind of tells us, if we're using our house analogy, kind of the shape of what the thing itself is. Um, the second thing we're going to talk about is world rules. Sometimes that refers to magic. Sometimes that refers to political systems or characters or a hierarchy of some sort. But a lot of times when we set up these rules at the beginning of a story, um, stories don't follow through on them and confuse us as, you know, an audience. It's like putting a staircase in your house that goes to nowhere. You told me that we were going upstairs. And then when I got to the top of the stairs, you decided there was no door or we weren't going there all of a sudden, right? So you led me somewhere and then didn't follow through with it. The um, next one is stakes. Why is this story important? What, what are the odds if the hero loses? Um, what happens if the world falls apart or if this magic goes away or if this character makes this decision? Um, are they important enough to guide us all the way through? You know, if if the whole thing is built on the premise that if X character makes this decision, no one gets cheesecake for dessert. Well, you know, uh, it's not a really compelling story. Um, song setup. If it's a musical... Um, how are the songs set up? Are they earned? Are they justified? Um, have you kind of 
told me that a song was coming because songs are used in a really particular way in storytelling in that they're kind of the next layer up emotionally. Um, and did we get to that, you know, did we get to that, um, did we get to that layer or not? And then finally, there'll be a miscellaneous category in all of these because sometimes there are things that go right or go wrong in stories that just don't fit anywhere. Um, and I'm going to just sort of talk about some of the big things that jump out to me as like oopses or yes, do more of that. So those are our big five categories. We're going to take a look and find out um, each week. I'm not going to do these in any order. I'm not going through, you know, all of the classics in order. I'm just kind of kind of pick and choose what I feel like a little bit. Um, tomorrow, we're starting with Encanto. So um, big in the news right now, people are posting about it everywhere. So I thought we would talk about that one first. I hope you're excited for this segment. It's something I'm really passionate about. And um, hopefully I can get you all to start looking at movies in a more critical way um, in terms of how we evaluate how well a thing is done. Because it doesn't matter if it's a children's movie or a grown-up film or a short. I'm expecting that these people who are making entertainment are people at the top of their game doing their best craft and their best work. You wouldn't hire the shoddy plumber from down the street that you know does lazy work. You want someone who's coming into your house that fixes a thing and doesn't flood the basement three days later, right? Same with this. There's no reason why we shouldn't expect craftspeople at the top of their storytelling game to be the ones putting out their best work. So look forward to that tomorrow morning, first show. There may or may not be a new theme song attached to that. I'm just saying. All right, so it is time to spin the wheel of the one year giveaway. Okay, sorry about that. I have my computer here now. Um, so just a reminder, I've got my wheel. This is for a $100 curated box. Um, and, okay, are we ready to go? You're going to send me your preferences. I'm going to curate you a vintage box. What could be more magical than that? All right, spinny spin on the wheelie wheel. Do, 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 who is winning the spinning wheel? Ba, da, da, da. Who is winning the spinning wheel? Castles, capes, and clones, Lauren. If I have to shop for you one more time. I'm just kidding. Lauren, I love shopping for you because um, you and I have a lot of the same preferences and probably most of the stuff that I'm buying for you, I'd buy for myself. So, Lauren, claim your prize. You know where to find me. Thank you, everybody, for entering. Uh, one giveaway that's coming up is um, my all-inclusive 500 giveaway. So kind of 500 in one year coincided at the same time. And I had said once I hit 500, I was going to do an all-inclusive family giveaway, meaning it was not open to new subscribers. It was just anybody who's been supporting me because I want to support you and give you something in return, not just have newbies come on because they heard about a giveaway. And I'm happy for the newbies that are here. Um, but I am a big fan of rewarding loyalty. So look for that coming up. Look for the new series tomorrow. Is it storytelling gold or garbage? Year of the Year is on Saturday, including... Excuse me. Including... Okay. All right. Well, it's early in the morning. The coffee is doing its magic. Uh, including, what did I say? Year of the Year, including the live on Saturday night, where a couple of us are going live with the Sisketeers on their channel to talk about the process and to talk about Year of the Year. It's an exciting week here on the channel. So if you're new, definitely hit that subscribe button. Make sure to hit the like button. Comment down below. Tell me, are you excited about the new series? Um, I hope you are. So until the next Disney afternoon...